Hey, this is Daniel. How you doing, man? This is Kale. Oh, how you doing? You got a one eight hundred number? Yeah, yeah. No, this is my my office line, so just give me a call. I got your email, so I was just gonna make an introduction. I know you said you have a lot of time between twelve and two is probably the best time, so you know. Yeah, we don't have to do a whole long discussion today. I just was, you know, just make an introduction, man. How you doing? Everything's good, man. I'm blessed. Uh, just freshly out the shower. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's good. Uh, yeah, on my way to just getting ready to prepare for the day. Uh, you know, getting ready to start my work day. So now, like oh, I said, I, you work I, the I second was, shift or the yeah, night shift? Exactly. So I, I kind of have um. You know, in the morning time, I'm taking the kids to school, got yeah. to get back to get to sleep, and then get ready for the mm. for the second shoot. So that's why I was basically, you know, I was trying, I wasn't like trying to um, say yeah. I'm too busy just to talk to you. It's just the fact that I just, man, it's just you, you hustling, time. man. You take care of your family. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I can respect that. <laughs> I know you understand because you have a family yourself. So. <laughs> Yeah, but, take uh, care of your family, definitely. Right, yeah. It, it, um, in short, man, I ran across your videos. Um, hmm. I I listened to uh, you know, some teachings by the guy that uh, that I sent you uh, a link to. Um, you know, um, so I, I ran across and I watch your videos here and there. I, I find them. Um, you know, what I'm saying it's a blessing to watch you out there. Hmm. Um, preaching the gospel to these people. Um, yeah. I had a few things that I was going to, um, you know, people are real touchy about stuff, man. And, uh, you know, we can't uh, ever give anybody constructive criticism or, mm-hmm. you know, all in love, stuff mm-hmm. like that. So I was just to write a few things that I thought that, you know, um, when you're talking to the people, sometimes it feels like uh, it's not, uh, it's just all scripture. Like it's, you know, if they come back with a um, contention, um, you might just hit them again with scripture. And for me, I'm, 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 you know, I've been in the word. Um, me and my wife got married. I got saved. Got baptized. Um, so I've been in the word, and I've been real hungry, and, and I've been blessed that the Lord has been showing me a lot in a short amount of time. Um, but I, I'm looking from the standpoint of a person that's a that would be like an unbeliever or somebody that doesn't understand the gospel and to hit them with just book, chapter, verse. Um, and like I said, this is just a, this is just a, the, just a quick little um, constructive criticism that I have for the videos. Other than that, um, it, the, the videos are awesome. You know what I'm saying? That's why I watch them. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I sit back and I watch and then, and then you, you, you caught me off guard. I was actually at work on break, and I was listening to it. Because I, I dialogue with you. I have them at my job. Um, mm. On my layovers, I'll stop at their little post where, they, uh, where they're standing, and i ask them questions, and they're really, really standoffish and argumentative. And, you know, you know the difference. I was interested in what, you know, the conversation that was going on, and um, – you were right on point up until what you said about John Kale. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I said, oh. Um, and like I said, my response then is it's not to try to point you out as a false teacher or, you know, be argumentative or debate with you. Yeah, I, think yeah. it's, I think where your heart is as far as preaching the gospel you know everything is fine. I think I, I do. I do feel that you're in error with that, and we can go into scripture about it. Like I said, I pointed out a few things as far as who John was. Like I'm like, how could John be born with the Holy Spirit? And when you say that, when you tell people John three sixteen, they must believe, right? So then, and then he told Nicodemus, you must be born again. What well, he was meaning that you must be born of the Spirit. So you, you're a born again um, creation. Not a new creation. So, if John came out of the womb as such, I don't know how. And see, that's why I said I said, Kill. I don't. I don't really. I would rather talk to you about it because 
I don't really know your stance. Are you saying that he's not a believer and that he and that he uh mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like I didn't yeah. understand. Yeah, let me jump in. Let me jump in. I hear you, man. I appreciate the spirit of the conversation, and I'm not uh, opposed to dialogue with with people that we disagree. It says iron sharpens iron, right? You can't sharpen unless you clash, right? (laughs) Ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, I'm a I'm a sports fan. I clash with my other other sports fans that aren't Pittsburgh Steelers fans. You might be a L.A. Rams fan. I'm a Steelers fan, but we're gonna enjoy. Talking about why my team is better than your team, right? And we just we not it ain't gonna take it personal, right? So no, not at all. We, we ready yeah. to election over here, so I yeah. let you know. Oh, okay. See, well, there you go. You know, we have got all the championships. You know, Raiders, y'all, y'all got the, you know, y'all got fans and crazy fans, but you know, I ain't mad at you. We we just get the championships. That's good. No, but yeah. but no, that kind of stuff. That's what I meant, and I don't mind talk with other brothers that read their Bible and we can talk about what our perspective is on it. And if we disagree, that's fine. Iron sharp is iron. Maybe I can learn something from you, you can learn something from me and we can just go about, keep on preaching God's words. So I have no problem with that. So I appreciate it. Um, let's see who this is. But uh, yeah, I know we don't have a lot of time to get into it. Hold on one, one second. Yeah, tomorrow? Oh. Oh yeah, I was just on that dog. Where you got? <laughs> I know, I know. You got me, you got me, dang. Okay, uh, jump on that. Bit. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my bad. Um, no, but uh, I was gonna say, yeah, my stance on it, and I can show you with scriptures that John never believed. There's no scripture that ever says that John believed. So in order to be born again, Jesus said you must believe. And repent. No, no, no. Now he didn't say you must repent. See, that's that's what uh, I get those people that say you must repent. Say you must believe. When when Paul um, and and Silas were with the Philippian jailer, the Philippian jailer said, what must I do to be saved? Paul and Silas, it says at the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. They said, you um, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Right. What did what did what did, what did what did Peter say in Acts fifteen? Peter said. What did Peter say? Well, he wasn't in Acts fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Let's pull, yeah. Let's pull it up. And we actually follow Paul, not Peter. Peter was was commissioned to the uh, the Jews okay. of the house of Israel. Paul was commissioned to to uh, all of us, but let's look at Acts 15. Where okay, are in Acts 15? Real quick, Ted, when you say we, get, just give me, like like I said, I don't really give you a full background of me, myself, but when you say we, like what exactly do you believe? Because I know you're not saying anything, you know, Jehovah's Witness, Calvinist, uh, Mormon, like what do you mean when you say we? Like, what do you well, okay, yeah, no, that's right. Let's start from the beginning. I, I'm a King James Bible Christian believer in what the Word of God says. I don't follow a religion. I don't follow a man-made traditions. I follow what the King James Bible says only. All right? And the King James Bible calls us Christians. It calls us the church. It calls us believers. It doesn't call us anything. It calls us saints. It calls us the elect. So whatever God calls us, that's what we are that believe on Jesus Christ for our salvation. It says, if you believe with your heart that God raised him from the dead, now if, yeah, if, you, conf- if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. That's what that's what we are. If we, yeah. So that's that's what we are. That's what that's what when I say we, the people that believe, not repent, not go to church, not do sacraments, not works, not following Christ. Following Christ is not save you. It didn't save Judas. Following Christ is a work. Re- uh, baptism is a work. Jesus never baptized with water. He he baptized us with the Holy Spirit. So when we believe, he does the baptism. He baptizes us into the body of Christ. And so that's what I that's what I mean by we. We as believers in Jesus Christ. So would you identify yourself as a believer in Jesus Christ? Absolutely. Okay. That's what I mean. John never 
identified himself as a believer in Jesus Christ. John never said, I believe. The scripture never said that John believed. So why would I call him a believer? The scripture never speaks of the Trinity in, in, in speaking of it as the word. The triune Godhead, it never said Trinity in it, but we believe it. Because no, no, no. In- yeah. No, it doesn't say Trinity, but I don't believe Trinity. I believe Godhead. The Bible says Godhead three times. And it says, for there are three... It says, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Yeah, for John, I know. But what I'm saying is, is that it's not there. Like, you know, when you debate with a Jehovah's Witness, they'll, they'll, make, that, they'll make that argument. Well, it's not in the Bible. Yes, right? it, yes it is, because I will show them it no, is. I know, yeah. I know it's there. I know it's there. But what I'm saying is they'll say that it's not there in print. Like, you can't see the word Trinity. And then I tell them... I tell well, them, well, I don't know. argue Trinity. They're arguing a word that's not in the King James Bible. No, I argue Godhead is. Godhead is in there, and it's in there three times. So, we see, man has come up with the word Trinity. God came right. up with the with the word Godhead. So, I don't use Trinity. I don't believe in a Trinity. I believe in the Godhead. See, that's what I'm saying. So it's almost like this. So the devil's subtle. He'll come up with a term that's not in the Bible and say, see, it's not there. Well, you came up with the term, you know. So, but you can't say that the Godhead is not there. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Let me, let me, let me, let me. So what I was trying to say was is that basically um, just because it's never said in the Scripture that John proclaimed to be a believer, um, I was saying that. The Trinity is not in there, but we believe it. And, and, and it's fine if you don't you don't use the word Trinity, use Godhead. It does say Godhead in the King James Version. But if you're going there as far as what terms man created, right, we have to go to the Tetra Grammar. Now, you use the King James Bible, and you say that Jehovah is in the King James Bible. Now, we know that the Tetra Grammar time was four letters, right? That's. That's, that's, we agree on that. But in your King James Bible, it says Jehovah. Now, I say Yahweh because that, that is the closest to what it is. We don't, it didn't have vowel points, right? The Hebrew manuscript didn't have vowel points. So you can't say, you can only come up with what you, it might be closest to. Now, man put Jehovah in the King James Bible. It's, it's, that's not, that's not the name of the Father. Would See, and that's and that, no, I totally disagree. See, all scripture is inspired by God. Man didn't put anything in there. God made man put whatever words are in there in there. This is God's word, not man's word. So in, in the Hebrew scripture, in the manuscripts, wait, 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 wait. So in the Hebrew scriptures, you're telling me that Jehovah was there? No, what I'm saying is that. There are no original Hebrew scriptures. Those are copies of copies of copies. So you don't even know what was originally written in there, right? No one does. What I'm telling you is that the King James Bible is the only Bible that is complete and that is fully God's word and has no errors in it. So I go by that. I can show you errors in the Hebrew scriptures. I can show you errors in the Greek manuscripts. There's errors in there. God cannot err. There's no errors in the King James Bible. So the King James supersedes the Hebrew and the Greek manuscripts? Yeah, because those aren't the original manuscripts. And all of the manuscripts don't even agree with one another. They're they're in like 90% agreement. What about the other 10%? God is 100%. So those manuscripts aren't perfect. Yeah, they supersede all those manuscripts. Yeah. How how, how do they supersede? Okay, we have 5,800 manuscripts of the New Testament in 27 books. Right? That, you would agree there, correct? So we, so we have that many manuscripts. Let me ask you this. The King James Bible is a translation of a translation. So how, and so are the manuscripts. Right. So how, if, they're trans, if, they're, if they're translating from something that has error, how are you saying that the King James is infallible? No, no, no. What I'm saying, you you're saying that. All right. So none of us were there 400 years ago. I'm just going by what we have. I believe that God inspires His Word today. So history might say, well, this, there's so many different stories on how the King James Bible came. I don't believe any. It says, let God be true, and and every man a liar. 
So I don't believe history. I believe the King James Bible. There's no errors or contradictions inside of the King James Bible. I can find errors and contradictions in any other book, in the Hebrew manuscripts, in the Greek manuscripts, in the Torah, in any other book. There are errors and contradictions in them. That makes them not the word of God. God cannot lie, as Titus 1-2 says. So there's no lie, there's no error in the King James Bible. That is God's word. Now, how it got here, I believe God inspired it. In terms of the historical data, I don't believe what man says. I believe what God has proven to me, what his word is saying. So I wasn't there 400 years ago. You weren't there. That has to be believed. I don't believe man. I believe God. And if the King James Bible makes itself apparent and manifests itself today, and I can read it, and I can see that there's no error in it, I believe it. I don't believe a history book or some you read okay, you, some you read online. So 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 like I'm a, I'm gonna make an analogy. If you have a pastor that's telling you that you must be baptized, right? I'm just making an analogy, quick analogy, and then you're somebody that is a babe and you have nothing to weigh out to what this pastor is saying. Acts seventeen calls us to be Bereans. But some people don't read their Bibles. So they don't have anything to weigh that with. I'm asking you, how do you know that there's no error in the King James Bible? What are you weighing it with? How do you, how do you, you know? You weigh it with truth. You're saying, yeah. wait, 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 wait. You're saying oh, okay. that the Torah, the Torah law, the Mosaic law, in the Tanakh, you can show me there's error there. That's yes, I can show you error in the tour. I can show you error in the, in, in the tour that they have today. Give me a, give me an example, because I need. I'm, I'm like, I'm be sort of here, like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? Look at Genesis one. Look at Genesis one one. Okay. Read it in the tour. And what? And you what have you, it with you? Come on. Me, Can you read Hebrew? So now you have to translate it. So there's an error right there. You've already got to translate it. It's more than one way to translate something. How do you know you're picking the right one? The That's scripture's not of any private point. interpretation, right? But you're making my point, though. You're making my point. So I'm making a point to say to say you can read the you can read the Torah in one translation. Another person can read it in another translation. Who is right? Okay, my and and, and it's, that's my point, Kel. How do you know there's error? It, you're saying that you're the reason that because you debate, the standard is not the Torah. The standard is the King James Bible. See, you're starting with the Torah as a standard. I'm saying no. The standard is the King James Bible. That is God's word. And how you know that there's error that there's no, that is right because there's no error in it. Error would mean that something is stated wrong. Uh, it's a lie. Um, it's not true. Um, it contradicts itself. Those are errors. None of that is apparent in the King James Bible. Nothing. There's no contradiction. There's no lie. There's no false statement. Everything in there is scientifically accurate. It's mathematically accurate. It's historically accurate. Everything in that Bible is true. You can't say that for, for all of these other books. And it's complete. Let me ask you, let me ask you a few questions. <laughs> So, who was God's chosen people? Well, the scripture is very clear that his elect is, right? So, his elect means that he was cho- he elected them from the from the from the foundation of the world from by his foreknowledge. So he so he elect he elected us, the elect Jesus is his elect. Right, the seed of Abraham that believe our elect, and we become the seed when we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Christians are elect. There are even angels that are elect. Those are the chosen. The elect are the chosen. Who was under the law? The shadow. Who was under the law? All men are under the law because we were without excuse. Even if you don't weren't under the law by religion, you're under the law by nature because he wrote it on our hearts in Romans one and chapter two. Okay, I'm asking a different way. Who, so, who came back from Mount Sinai and gave the law to what people? 
well, God came down to Mount Sinai. Moses and Aaron will both go up into the tent, uh, up into the mount. Moses actually will go into the temple and speak with God, an angel of God, and he would give the words to the children of Israel, who is Jacob's that's children. That's the answer I was looking for. So yeah, but that doesn't mean that they're the chosen people. That's what I'm trying. You asked me a question about chosen, and I said the chosen people are the elect. But you're asking me more specific about who are the children of Israel. Then, uh, yeah, those are Israel is just Jacob's name, and God gave them Israel, and they are His children. He he used he used the children of Israel as an example, correct? He gave them the uh, law. Well, he gave, he gave yeah, yeah. Well, he gave them Moses, and Moses gave them the law. He gave them the commandments. Commandments come from God. The laws come from man. So he gave he and 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 uh, yeah, of course. Well, he, they were an example, but more importantly, they were the people that would bring about Jesus into this earth. That's you know that's that's what the, it was just the line, the genealogy, the line from uh, from Abraham all the way up to David. That's why you have the lineage in uh, John and Matthew one and in Luke three. Well, 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 all the way back to Adam. They spoke Hebrew, correct? Oh, well, before then, because in Luke 3, it goes back to Adam. Before then, they, they, they didn't speak Hebrew. There was one language, and then the language got confounded. Yeah, and then right. then Hebrew came. Yeah, so before then, it wasn't Hebrew. So, um, yeah, so it was it was one language, and we still, it's still one language. It just got confounded. So all of the, all of the conversation with God in the garden is translated, even in Hebrew. All the conversation with the Egyptians is is translated. It wasn't in Egypt. There's no Egyptian manuscript. It was is translated even in Hebrew. So translation has always happened with God's word. All of the conversations when when um when um uh, Paul went to go speak to people in Hebrew in the New Testament it was written in Greek. When the angel spoke from heaven in Hebrew, it was translated into Greek. So even the Greek and Hebrew manuscripts are translations, not not the, the, all of them. There are many translations. When when Daniel spoke with uh, Nebuchadnezzar, he didn't speak Hebrew. That was a translation. So I, I believe God's translation. I don't believe man's translation. Okay, so how <laughs> – you believe God's translation? How is something that came years, centuries after, how is that God's word? And because God is still alive. God is okay, still alive. You act as if, if God can't give us his word today. So the epistles that were written by the apostles do not supersede what King James and everything. We don't have those. Do. We don't have those epistles. No, they don't. don't it's, it's God's word. It's not the writ it's not the paper. It's the word of God that supersedes. His word. His word is not limited. His word is written in heaven. His word is what's powerful. Jesus is the word. And the word was made flesh, and the word and the, and the word was is God. Who documented? If it were, if it's Scri not, there are many scribes. There were holy men of God, and, and Second Peter tells you that they documented, they script, they wrote every prophecy of the Scripture. Huh? In Nehemiah eight eight, yeah, it also talks about that. So what I'm saying yeah. to you is, what I'm saying to you is, you're you're you what you're what you're claiming. Is that the KJV is the standard and everything else is incorrect? So That's what right. You is, what I'm asking you is who documented that? Who documented the, the KJV? Who put it together as a canon? Right? I want to ask you that because I know about three. Well, that's five. man's history. I don't believe man's history. All I care about is what it actually says. I don't care about what man tells me how it got documented. I just care about what it actually says. You're going on the fly. You just say I'm not going on the fly. I'm going on the word. That's what I'm saying. I believe the word. I don't believe the. I don't believe history. You're going off of history. I'm going off of what it actually says. I compare scripture with scripture. I don't compare scripture with history. As a believer, hold on, hold on, hold on, Kel. Because you say you don't believe history. Now, when no. I witness to somebody, when, okay, okay. When I witness to somebody, and they say, "How do you know this?" Right? Know his knowledge. I get it from the scripture. You say you always always have a ready answer to what you believe, right? Okay. So mm -hmm. you're supposed to have an answer. So mm -hmm. when I say, look, even the Jews, secular scholars.
scholars. This is not a blind faith that I'm in. This is something that I believe because I know it's true. First Corinthians 15. Faith that is blind. You know that he, what I'm Anything that's seen is not a faith, a scripture. Yeah. Okay, what I'm saying, listen to me, bruh. What I'm, I'm saying listening. is when I, li- when I witness to somebody, I'm telling them people say down the line, people that were willing to die said they seen him roll. He, he rose. And they seen him. This is this mm-hmm. is people from and this is in the town move. People yeah, that how do you are how do you know this? People people that people that do not believe he is the Messiah confirm that he rose. So who, that who, means, how do you know this though? My question. This is, this is well. This is history. This is in this is in this is what exactly what people. Why are people? If, if think about this, if people did not believe in the Christian faith. Why would they confirm something that helps our argument for what we believe? Because they, the, because because the devil is a lie, <laughs> and people lie all the time. And so there's people that confirm that they they've seen aliens. There's people that confirm that they've uh, seen Santa Claus. There's people that confirm a lot of things. I don't go off a of man's yeah. word. I go off of God's yeah. word. There's false witnesses. That's why Jesus. That's why God said there's seven things that He hates. And those that bear false witness is one of them, a lying tongue, a haughty spirit. So that that's why, because what you're believing are these false witnesses, these lying tongues. That's man. God calls all men liars. So I'm, and they are. And we are. We are liars. Only God is true. So you only know God when you know his word. And so his word is what matters, not what history says. And how do you know what his word is? Because you try the spirits, whether it be of Christ. And if it has one lie, it is not of God. And I can show you lies in all of those books. There's no lies in the King James Bible. And that's all I'm saying. I use scripture. The word is the power. It's more power. Who wrote that down, Phil? It's living. Huh? Who wrote that down? Who documented that? How do you know those guys that translated it weren't liars? How do you know that because they Because what I'm error. reading is not a lie. What I, well, oh, no, they were know, liars. Every know? man is a liar. Every no, man no, is a liar except for God, listen, obviously, uh, Jesus. Listen to my question. What I'm asking you is, what are you weighing that with? Because you didn't know the truth before you came to it. So what are you weighing it with? How do you know I'm weighing it with the, with the scripture. I'm saying I've no, compared no, 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 no. scripture you're, with scripture. You're, you're reading. What, what scripture? The King James Bible I, is 66 yep. books, so I compare each I, book. I, I, I compare scripture with scripture. One 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 sentence is is considered scripture. It's scripted. It's written. So I compare scripture with scripture. So I compare sentence to sentence, line upon line, precept okay, upon precept, again, here little, see, there man, little. Man put these together for your KJV, though, right? See, this is the thing. I, I read the KJV. You act as, you act as if men didn't put together the Torah. Men put together everything. It, it, that's fine. Well, well, what I, these were holy I, what men of God. What I men put together the Torah. Was, well, the implicit, well, what I understand is inspired commentary, right? Okay, the same thing. Inspired. Is, so, so God wrote it. When David, when David was writing, David is a man. In Psalms, it was inspired by the Holy Spirit. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's the so same God, thing. So well, that's it. the same thing. Well, that's what I'm saying. God so, wrote so the King James Bible. I'm saying God wrote the King James Bible. How you say the Hebrew manuscript and the Greek and the the Torah has errors in it? If it was written, if it was written by God, you understand? Because that wasn't was written by God. No, no, no. Because that wasn't. Those are not the original manuscripts. Those weren't. Those are copies. Those are those are translations of the original. That's what I'm saying. Those aren't written by God. God wrote the Ten Commandments on a stone and gave them to Moses. Moses broke them, and then Moses wrote the other Ten Commandments. God didn't write a lot of Scripture no, with his finger. He, huh? Yeah, he came back up, and then Moses wrote it. So God didn't yeah. write a lot of Scripture with his finger. He actually used the, the tongue of a ready writer, is what the Scripture says. And so exactly. as the prophets spoke, men, holy men of God wrote it. And that's how that's how we get holy the, men the of God wrote it, right? 
Yeah. So the holy men of God would have been his pride. And in the and in the, in the Septuagint that was translated from the Hebrew, right? There was seven. No, scribes. no, no. That's Septu- there there's no such scribes. thing as a Septuagint. First of all, what? Hebrews. Yeah. And first of all, Hebrews. So what did Paul write in? What did Paul write in when he wrote the he New did. Testament? When he was writing in the book, what was what, what, he wrote what the name language? Hold on, he wrote hold epistles on. in it? Greek. He didn't write in so Hebrew. Let me ask, so let me ask exactly. You just yeah. said. You, Septuagint, I mean, Septuagint is a translation a of the Old it's, Testament. Uh, exactly. Yeah, he didn't write, exactly. This. Paul didn't write any of the Old Testament. He wrote okay. only the New I, Testament. He wrote in the New. So what? There I'm is no, you. so there is no such thing as a Septuagint. There is no Septuagint. There is no Greek of the Old Testament. That would be a translation right there. God didn't inspire that. Hebrews would oh. never allow their, their word to, to, to be written in, in Greek. <laughs> Are you familiar something? with the Masoretic text? You you familiar with the Masoretic text? Man, I know all of that history. What's going on? It's false, man. It's a lie. I'm just saying. Wow. Just compare it, compare it with the King James Bible. The King James Bible is God's word, man. And you that's why you that's sit, why you get lost. You can't confusion. sit up here. Listen, you can't sit up here and tell me something that was written down. Listen, you you, you read the epistles sixty to ninety years after Jesus was gone, right? So the Old Testament no. came. What? Uh, no. What was what was Revelation? Second Timothy. Second Timothy. He tells you. He <laughs> when was re- when was when was when did they when do scholars say that the re- was Revelation? I don't care what scholars say. I don't care what scholars say. I care what the scripture says. So you keep going off a of man's word. I'm going off of what the scripture he, he, says. He All right. Second. Exactly. Second Timothy three fifteen. It says, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures. So he couldn't have known the Holy Scriptures unless he had them. This is Paul talking to Timothy while they're both alive. Thou hast known the Holy Scriptures. Scriptures is written down. They had the Scriptures when they were alive. Paul wrote these Scriptures when he was alive, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. This is the New Testament as well as the Old Testament through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. So it's very clear in Scripture that scripture proves that it was written right then as they spoke it, they wrote it down. That's what the scripture says. I don't believe what history, see what you're doing is you're taking what scholars, so-called scholars and so-called men, and you're taking their lies and trying to say their lies prove that this is God's word, this book here. And I'm saying, no, the King James Bible, which is God's words, proves that it is God's word. Because yeah, I, nobody I, I, can disprove it. There's no errors in the. The only way that you can disprove me to believe the King James Bible is show me one error inside of that Bible. Anyone can say, "Oh, well, this book's supposed to be in there." Come on, that's not a showing me an error. That's showing me what you think should be in there. Show me an error in the Scripture. Show me well, where it right. is where well, it is man. wrong. Well, let me ask you this: Why did it take the Apocrypha to 1611? It was in the 1611. So See, there you go. There you go. You're going off. That's what I'm saying. I already, I've already killed that argument because what you're saying is you, you're going off of history. What somebody told you that this should be in there. It, the scripture doesn't say that. Do I see apocryphy in in the King James Bible? It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that anyone took it out. You're believing what somebody told you. You don't was see the difference. There? It wasn't in there. N- no, that they're, they're liars. That's what people tell you. (laughs) That's what history tells you. They're lies. They're liars. So first and second, first and second Maccabees. Yes, that's all. That's all lies. All this, all this this stuff wasn't in. It wasn't in the sixteen. All lies, man. You keep believing history, man's word. That's not God's word. That's never been God's word. That's what I keep trying to tell you, man. I can show you errors in those books. I can show you errors in those books. The King James Bible is complete. I need for you to show me error in the Torah. That's yeah. what I need you to do for me. That's what, yeah. Genesis you're, you're 1 1. Claim. Genesis 1 you're 1. What's the error? In the, you said it. You, you quoted it. I want you to read it first so I can show it to you. In the beginning? What? What? Go ahead. What? What? I, I, I know the scripture. What, what are you Get, saying? Like, read what, it to what, me. What, read it to me. Though? Genesis what's 1 the 1. Error? Just what's read the it error? to me. I'll, if you read it to the, me, I'll show I'll show you the error in it. I want to know the I want to know the error in the Torah. I want to know 
Wait. Hold on a second. I'm sitting here. <laughs> yeah, you got me. And that you going. Yeah, I ain't mad at you, man. You got me going and running late. Oh, my bad, yeah, man. Look, man. let's, no, let's do a part two not, of this. Because no, I don't want you late for work, right. man. Nah, it's good. I'm, 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 in, uh, I'm in traffic. I got a headset anyway, so. Uh, okay. I got a little time on this freeway to continue this uh, interesting no, very, I know you. You're a well, a well studied man, and I respect that man. And uh, I love these conversations. I say, hey, you know, I still love you in Christ, man. It ain't, yeah, don't, it ain't nothing against you, you know. So absolutely. we just have different opinions. But no, I would say in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. What? 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 Is heavens what is plural? There? The heavens is plural. That's a, that's an error. Okay, why? Because. What, what, what do you okay? That's an error. Yep. And it, uh, I'm reading from your book. What book? I'm reading from your case. I'm reading from the new. I'm reading from the King James. You said the so new King saying? James? No, the King James. No, you're and not. And I have, and I have, and I have the 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 strong concordance to go with that. So when you're you not read, reading from the I King read, James, do I read? You're reading from the New King James. You're not reading from the King I'm reading, James. I'm reading from the King James Bible. Okay, what does the King James Bible say? The King James Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth With was formless and empty. Wait, wait, no. no. The, 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 come on, man. The New the King or the formless, King James? The That's King not even James. the earth. Earth was formless. That's not even the King James. It doesn't say the earth was formless. So you're oh. not reading from the King James, man. I know the King James. <laughs> you're not reading from it. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. See, you reading from a different translation, man. Come on, man. Be yeah, honest with on. me. I'm trying to show Cut you the fact. Cut it out. Cut it out. Oh, my bad. My bad. This the NLT. Let me switch. Yeah, I know. I got, I got both of them on my. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but like you said, like you said, uh, hold on, man. I switched from uh from NLT to uh to uh okay, wait a minute, old test. Yeah, no worries. Man, if you're driving, man, we can do this another time, but I don't want you getting into no accidents, man. And I'm dead, man. <laughs> I'm gonna show you this I'm gonna show you this one point and then we'll we'll reconvene. So basically when you see that the King James is keeps it singular, heaven. Because what God did, if you read the whole Genesis account in chapter 1, he divided that one heaven into two. And that's how we get the three heavens. You divided it in, in two places and we get three. So there were not three heavens from the beginning. There was one heaven and God divided it. If you look at um, Genesis 1, 7, and God made the firmament and divided it. Divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which are above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. See? So God divided it and then made the three. So if someone calls it heavens, it's an error. And it's just that simple. I can go through Hebrews yeah, 4 3. Okay, I can so go that, through so Acts 12 4. I can go through many verses in Scripture just within their Scripture and show you errors in their Scripture. And that's how you know it's not God's word. So what? I'm, so you don't have to get the Torah, the manuscript, to see. Yeah. But see, this, this is the thing, though. This is the thing. This is like I'm gonna tell you what this is like. And I've witnessed to Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what this feel is like. It's like when I say when I get when I if I say that uh I give you proof. If I if I look at a word in a, in a strong concordance, I don't have to read Hebrew, but I can go into strong concordance and I can see what they meant 
when they use that certain word in that passage. But now you believe in strong. But you, you believe in strong. John wasn't there either. I'm saying you believe in man's word, man. That's what you're not saying. Is you're trusting man. And I'm saying don't trust man. Okay, trust God. Hell, yeah. you keep saying it. Why do you keep saying that when when who put the King James together? No, that's, God that's did. For you. God How? did. Did he, did he, did he just did it appear here? God, God, the only James man of God. God, the only Geneva man of God. Huh? The Geneva Bible, the, King, the 1611 version, the New King James. Like, what are you saying? Like, the King James Bible just appeared out of nowhere here, and that's God's word? How did it get here? That's my question to you. How did it get I, here? Through man, I, correct? I, I, I keep telling you, this is what the scripture says. Know this first, that no prophecy of the scripture, prophecy is spoken word of God, scripture is written word of God. No prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So no man right. privately interprets scripture. For the prophecy We're came... We're keeping that in context, right? Yeah, that what it says, right? what it says, for no, for the prophecy of scripture, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. That's how we got the written scripture, the King James Bible. Okay, so somebody penned that, right? Well, where did they get? Where did they? Where did they get their info? God, holy men of God, spake as they holy were moved by God. the Holy Ghost. Yes. So what you're you're discrediting when you say that the Torah. And the Greek manuscripts, and these are these are things. These are. Do you understand when they got the manuscripts? These are. Did they send out epistles? Were letters sent out to different churches? So you're saying this stuff had error in it. How did we no, compile it? Okay, so I'm saying so none many, of. Right? I'm saying none of the originals are here today. Those the originals I, did not have error. So please understand that. I never said the originals have error. So the original epistles, the original writings of Moses, they did not have error. What we have today are not the originals. They are in error. That's what I'm saying. So what you're saying that the KJV is not in error. So exactly. How did it go from, so hold on. When did the KJV come into existence? When was it when, printed out? Because the printing press, the printing press went out. I'm saying. Go ahead. I'm saying. We don't know. We only believe what man tells us. Okay. So I don't believe that. I only believe what the Bible says. I so you're, so, 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 so well, listen. You, you, yeah. So, so you're, what I'm you're saying is I, Hell, yeah, that's cool. Hold on. Hell, that's, that's cool. If, if you're saying that, that you just believe that because you want to believe that. No, no, no. I fine. believe it because that's, the scripture proves itself to be true. There's no errors in it. I can show you true. errors in the Torah. That's what I'm saying. You believe history. I believe God's word. That's the difference. I believe. I believe. <laughs> that's the difference. Wait, you're not. You you're keep not quoting making history. Sense you keep I, quoting I, I, history. I keep quoting. I keep history. quoting the scripture. The Bible yep, you is, keep isn't, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it history? The book no. of Acts. What is it? No. Is it? Hold on, hold on. You you talk about the book of Acts. Hold on. It, is it, it talks history? about historical things. No, it, this is relevant exactly. today. It talks. It's not exactly. history. It's talk, it talks about history, but it's relevant wait, today. It is. Wait, it is talk relevant about the today. Garden of Eden, the Garden of Eden, and Adam, and all this. Everything is history. It's oh, inspired. even Revelation. No. Even there, there's uh, even prophecies in Scripture that haven't come true in Daniel and Isaiah. No, that, so that's what I'm saying. It's it's historically true. I mean, it's not a history a book. I'm not exactly. saying it's a history book. I'm saying okay. it's the Word of God. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's I, I all I'm saying. That. So you believe the so King James Bible is the Word of God? Yeah. Okay. That's all we're saying. But you, you being, but you being but you being dogmatic about the King James is the only book. See, I've never okay. ran into a King James only person. This is interesting for me. And I, I hope I'm, that you're learning I'm, something. I hope you're I'm, I'm you going to be, be preaching I'm the learning. same thing. <laughs> no, I'm not, because I'm going to tell you why. Because uh -huh. you can't supersede. You can't, listen, you can't take something that came centuries later and say that it's supersede. But how do you know? You keep saying it as if it's a fact. You're going off a of man's, did the scripture say, I can't, we came centuries later and... Do you see what I'm saying? You're believing man's word. I'm just believing what the Bible says. So, you're just, so you don't believe 
You know, okay, let me ask you. So if I read somebody like Joe Thesis. This one, uh, all lies. All men said? are liars. All men are liars. Wow. wow. All men are liars. That's what the scripture wow. says. That's, this is interesting. Yeah, all men are liars. That's what the scripture wow. says. Have you ever lied in your life? So did you, did, have you heard, so, so when I say. So then it makes you a liar. All men are liars. Did the scripture not tell us all men are liars? If, okay. Did you read okay. Psalms? Did you did you read Romans? All yes, men are liars. I have. Okay. okay. So so the scripture clearly and the tells word of God is it's inspired by God. No, right? I didn't say the word of God is liars. I said you keep on talking about these these men in history. That's lies. I go by the word of God. So in the word of God, does it have a date on when it was written and when it wasn't written? If it doesn't say it, then I won't believe it. I only believe what it says. Mm. So King James and whoever put it together, they didn't have an agenda when they were writing this book. No, th- th- they, didn't these take, were, they didn't take out no, third words. It's not of any private interpretation. That's what this the is scripture says. Okay. That. It's they not of any private together, agenda. So then, is it God's word then, or is it not? You just said it was God's word, so God can't preserve no. His word. Yes, he can. He said it yeah, heaven and the earth will pass away, but his word will remain. We know this. Well then, know this. Well, then it's King James oh, Bible, God's saying? word. So if it's, well, if it's God's well, word, then it's God's word. God's word can't here, have one here, line here. in it. Okay, here's, 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 here's where I have a, a problem. Is okay. that you're saying that the King James is uh-huh. the only book that we mm-hmm. should be going by, right? Yeah, it's God's word. That's what you're, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Because so, it so contradicts where, all the other books. So once all the again, other books contradict it. Where did they get their info from, Kel? Where God. did they get their info for, from? From God. So they just, so they just made. Okay, we don't have original manuscripts, right? What you it claim? Came from God. We don't have a we don't have original manuscripts. What, just like the original right? manuscripts came from God, the word came from God. They were no, prophets. No, 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 no. Prophecies. Wait, 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 wait. Prophecies you just said come that they from God. Come from. You just I just said the manuscripts. It, no, the original manuscripts came from God. I didn't say they didn't. I said those are perfect. They came from God. I said the King James Bible came from God. Well, huh? who translated that book? Who translated that book? God. That's what I keep on trying to tell you. It came from God, just like the originals came from God, just like you can believe Kel, that. Kel, Kel, you're okay. saying that God didn't write the Decalogue with his hand, but he wrote the KJV with his hand? Is that what you're saying? No, I said God gave it to the prophets, the holy men of God, and they wrote it down. Which That's who? what I said. Which are who? Jeremiah, the holy men I, of God. Isaiah, right? All these. So it didn't where, say. So they, it didn't say. It didn't say Jeremiah and all those people. Whoever God selected the, in, in 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 the old times is who He selected to give us the wait kingdom. A minute, of God. What? He didn't say specifically who it was. It said holy men he of said God. He spoke. Wait a minute. He said he spoke through the prophet. This is in Hebrew. Because you go to Hebrew when you were talking to the dude about the, Je- the Jehovah's Witness, right? So in Hebrew, what does it say? He spoke through who? He spoke through who? Huh? In Hebrews, he spoke through his yeah. son. Yeah, his son. No, no, no. And who else? Before that, before he said now, he now. Oh, he spoke through angels son. before, but in these last days, he speaks through his son. Prophets. Yeah, the okay. prophets. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. so what are you saying? That, who are the prophets? Well, Okay, in Second Peter, that's what I just read to you, okay? And that's when you're not you're not understanding. Second Peter says, knowing this first, that no prophecy prophecy comes from prophets and their spoken word of God. Knowing that no prophecy of scripture, so the written scripture of prophecy is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men. Of God, it didn't name those who those holy men were. It's just saying holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost is what gave them the words to speak, and the script writers wrote down what was spoken, and that's how it worked. So you had so basically Joseph Smith was a holy man. No, Joseph Smith. It's not. It's not in the King James Bible. You keep on naming people outside the King James Bible, man. I can, you confusing yourself because you're not believing what I'm saying. I'm not confused. I'm I'm, I'm not confused. Uh, did I mention Joseph Smith then? So why are you but bringing I'm saying, him up? He said, 
because he said he said that he 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 had an encounter. He's a liar. With God. He's a liar. That's what I'm saying. Is he in the like, King James saying, Bible? Okay. Is Joseph Smith in the King James Bible? Okay. He's you a liar. said all men are liars, right? All men are liars. You said all men are liars, right? Yes. The scripture says that. Then, Not me. Then the men, scripture, then wait, wait a second. Men. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do you agree that the scripture says? You want me to read the scripture that says that? Okay. Well, no, 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 no. Hold on. I want to get to this. So if man compiled the KJV, right? Man it says, that. I believe, therefore, therefore, have I spoken. I was greatly afflicted. Psalms one sixteen eleven. I said in my haste, all men are liars. God. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? If you look at Romans 4, 3, if you look at Romans 4, 3, what does it say? Let me pull it up. It says, for what saith the scripture, Abraham believed God, it was counted unto him for rights. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no. Is it for, so if it works, but not for God. Uh, is it, where is it? It's in 3, 4. Okay. I always mix them up. All right, it says, 3, 4, God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So it's referencing Psalms, what we just read. This is Paul referencing John Psalms. He said, as it is written, right? Let God be true, but every man a liar. So that's what he's telling us to do. And so all I'm saying is that God... Is when son, he's the one that selected holy men, and he inspired them by the Holy Ghost to write. I didn't say that men wrote down what they wanted. I said that God is the one. That's what Second Peter two nineteen and twenty tells us. That's all I'm saying, man. So you can understand it. You may not agree with it, but you can understand my my what I'm saying, my argument. That's all. What I'm saying is that you're saying all men are liars, and I'm telling you. The Bible says that. Did I not just read that? You keep saying I said I that. Okay. okay. So the Bible, the Bible says, says all men are that, liars. Right? Thank you. Okay. How can you discredit? How can you say that the King James is the King, your King James only? How can you say your King James only and everything else is wrong? You can't because man put the KJV together. You, you understand what I'm saying? You discredit. No, 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 hold on, no, hold on, 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 the Torah is God's word. Would you, would you agree? No. Okay, the Tanakh, you wouldn't, the Tanakh is, that's not God's word? No. Oh my goodness. Aren't they, aren't those written by men? Did you just say that? And JV was too. But Great. you said the reason why but you said the reason why it wasn't in error is because it was inspired by holy men. Who do you think put the Tanakh together? No, the reason no, I said the reason why it's not in error because it has no error in it. That's what I said. See well, you're not you're not, not listening to what I'm saying. Okay. What you no no you didn't hear what I just I said. I can Tell show error. I can show error in in the Tanakh and the Torah. I can show error in it. You can't find error in the King James Bible. That's what I'm saying. That's that's why. So you show me an error in the King James Bible and then you will shut me up. But until then, right. I'm preaching the King James Bible. <laughs> no, I use the King James. I'm not. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm not. You, but is it God's look, word? Look. So if it's God's word, then why are we even arguing about it? It's God's word. So because you're saying is. that the, you're saying you're saying that you're saying that the the, the the Septuagint that was used to 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 bring the gospel to, okay. to the Greek Hebrews, right? The Hebrews. But you, but see, you, if you say it's God's word, then you don't. But if you say it's God's word, then you don't need to go anywhere else because it's right there. So let's just stay in the King James Bible. To you prove said, well, what God is saying. That's why. Oh, we can do that. That's fine. Yeah. That's why I sent you the link. I said, I said the, the Jehovah's Witnesses say it's a masterpiece, so they can't go anywhere. They're in a, they're back Good. into a corner. Good. I use so, the King James. Yeah, but no, you don't, because you were just saying that the King James missed it made an error. It. 
You just said that the King James made an error and you, it, you put Jehovah there and it wasn't supposed to be there. So you don't believe it's God's word because you believe it's an error. No, See what, what I'm saying? saying you do, you're double talking. It says a, dub, a, a double minded man now is unstable in all his ways. Now you're, now you're doing, see, this is interesting. I, I don't know if this is on the recording, but you can put yeah, this no, up. Yeah, no, we record, we record, I don't have to put it, if you want me to put it up, I can, but I do, no, all my calls no. are recorded. Yeah. Well, that's, that's good, though, but when that man tried to attack you, mm -hmm. right, and he said that you were trying to be, uh, uh, deceitful as far as how you, you were using the word mm -hmm. and the interpretation, mm -hmm. you, you correct that man. You, mm -hmm. I haven't attacked you yet, Kel. Now what you're trying to tell me, you're trying to do the same thing he was doing to me. What did I do? You understand what I'm saying? What did you I do to you? Me that I'm double, I'm double talking? I was, I'm double talking? That you did. Saying? You did. Yes, you did. When you say that no, I'm not attacking saying, you, I'm telling you what you said. You okay, said okay, I, you said this. If this is recorded, you'll hear it back because you said that it, the you said that Jehovah is in the King James Bible and it shouldn't be there. You said that. So I'm then you, you say that it's you God's word. It. You never did. You not it, say that. Do you agree that you said that? I agree. Okay. So what well, then that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm not attacking you. I'm using truth. Okay, I want to ask you a question. Answer that question, though. What question? Is you, okay. Where's Jeho where does Jehovah come from? From the from the word of God. God God gave them the word Jehovah. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Nisi. He gave them that as his name. So there's no such thing as a tetragrammaton. Man, it probably is, but it ain't God's word. I keep trying to tell you, man. Wow. Let me tell you. Okay, you know you. what? You know what? Check this out. <laughs> This is interesting because you say you're a pastor. I know I never said that. I'm not a pastor. I've never said I'm a pastor. Pastors Whoa. actually are negative I watch, I watch in the videos, Kel. No, I say I'm I a watch, preacher. Watch, watch my video. Okay. Show me where I say I'm a pastor. I never call myself a pastor. Okay. I'm a preacher. A preacher? Okay. Yeah, a preacher. Right. Yeah, I All preach right. the word of God. I'm not a pastor. Okay. Now, I may have the gift of pastoring people, which which I'm able to shepherd and, and teach them in the word of God and that's teaching but God gives us more of a teacher Paul called himself a, a teacher and a preacher I'm more I follow Paul he never called himself a pastor so I'm not I'm not trying to be a pastor I'm trying to be a preacher and a teacher now explain, now, now explain that to me because you said we follow Paul not the yeah. other what do you mean that implies you don't follow the others no, we right. learn from them. All scripture is is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for. Why are you um, so dogmatic about following just Paul? Though? That's my because question. Because Paul tells us to follow him, and he's he's given to us. He's just like Moses. Everyone followed Moses back in the day because Moses was appointed as their uh, prophet. Well, Paul he is appointed said, by he, he, Jesus he, he, Christ. Paul is appointed by Jesus Christ himself to be our apostle, and that's who now, we are supposed to follow. Now, Paul. Now, you, now, you go, now you go on to the That's what the scripture gonna, says, uh, and that's what Paul says. One, 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 one second. One second. Yeah. Let, me, uh, let me get a trans and caramel coffee with 2% milk and extra ice, please. All right, so, yeah, uh, dang. Let me get that. So, so, Kev, so let me ask yeah. you this. In Philippians, Philippians when Paul started, he, he, he says, he says, you can follow me. He says, but don't follow me. He says, follow what I'm, what I'm, who I'm, who I'm following, correct? Which is, which Let's is pull it up. Okay. F so Philippians what? I don't, exact, I don't know the exact, um, right now, I don't know the exact, um. Oh, yeah. It's in Philippians when he says, you can follow me, but follow me as I follow Christ. He didn't say follow him. Like that, he says, follow him out to the example that he follows Christ. Uh, First Corinthians one, twelve or Philippians? Matter of fact, no, Philippians. Let me let me let me look at. Hold on, let me matter of fact, yeah. my uh my candle. Okay. All right, hold on. I'm 
Right now. That's fine. Well, I'll go to First Corinthians eleven one. It says, "Be ye followers of me, even also, or even as I also am of Christ." Is that what you're talking okay. about? Yeah, yeah, that might, yeah, that might. Where is that in? Where is that? In? That's First Corinthians eleven one. This is Paul saying, "Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ." You know why? Because I was, I'm just, I'm just getting out of Philippians, and. Mm-hmm. That sounds, that's, yeah, that's what I was getting at. But basically he's saying. So you misquoted it. He said, be ye followers. It proves my point. It says, be ye followers of me, even like as you know. I also am of Christ. So Paul is very clear. He, he also says in, in 1 Corinthians 4, 3. Let me go to 1 Corinthians 4, 3 so you get more clarification. But with me, it is very small thing that I should be judged of you, um, Wait a second. I'm sorry. Say it again. The wrong one. Four sixteen. My bad. First Corinthians four sixteen. Yeah. First Corinthians four sixteen. If you look at four fifteen, it says, "For though ye have ten thousand instructors in Christ, right? (laughs) He's telling you, if you got ten thousand instructors in Christ, yet have not many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, I have begotten you through the gospel." See, we get the gospel from Jesus, from from Paul's epistles for for us to be saved. So he becomes, you know, as you know, I wouldn't say he, as a, in a, in the essence, he's identifying it like as a father. So you have many instructors, but because we follow his gospel, and then in sixteen it says, "Wherefore I beseech you, be ye followers of me." In four sixteen. So I'm just going by what the Bible tells me to do is to follow Paul, just like they were supposed to, the children of Israel, they were supposed to follow Moses. And just like, the, you know, when God, when Jesus gave the reins over to Peter to be the leader, once he left, they were following Peter. Who's the one that spoke did, on did the they, day did of they Pentecost? Follow, did, they follow, did they follow Peter? Or yes. After 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 Stephen was martyred, who presided? Of course, Saul took over. Yeah. No, 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 no. James took over. What are you talking about? Saul got converted, and then and then uh, Paul. Then he got converted to Paul, and Paul took over. But when they were um, in the book of okay, in the book of Acts, when Stephen when Stephen was martyred. Oh, what time is it? Oh, right? shoot! Hold on one second. One second. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we said three thirty. All right, we're out at three o'clock, about ten minutes. Okay, you want to text me the address? Okay, all right, cool. Thanks. I forgot. Yeah, we get my my son into this uh, co-op program. We're doing some homeschooling, and so we're gonna check out this program. And it's supposed oh, okay. to be at three thirty. I forgot, man. It's time to begin. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I know you got stuff to do, man. Check it out, man. I'm about to, I'm about to pull yeah. up to work anyway. Let me say this, okay. man. It's yeah. good. It's good with you. Like I Likewise. said, I think a problem. I think a problem with a lot of people is that they it's can't afraid. agree yeah. to disagree. Yep. And and we're still we're still brothers in Christ. Yeah. This is my first time meeting you. Yeah. And um and it's a blessing to meet you. And I and I and I salute you, brother, for what you're doing. You taking your Thank son out there. You yeah. know what I mean? You, you take Thanks. your wife, and you you know our our ministry is to our home first. We both know yep. that. Yep. Um, so <laughs> so you know what I mean. Oh. And, and I appreciate the conversation. You even reaching back out to me. Um, yeah, man. You know. So yeah, man. We can um we can continue continue to dialogue. We didn't get a chance to get on John, but um yeah. <laughs> I, I think that uh yeah I think uh, a lot of times like we I, I, when I talk to people. They, they interpret the Bible, and I said, well, we can't look at it with a Hellenistic Western mind. Okay. You know, Jesus was a rabbi. You know what I mean? So mm, if we're interpreting the Bible. That. They did call him rabbi, rabbi, but I don't think he identified himself as a rabbi. Hey, which means they master, so. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They called him that. I'm just saying he never called himself that. But he was a teacher, so, I mean, I'm not going to argue that too hard. I hear what you're saying. Go ahead. I'm listening. Just like he, that's interesting you said that because you said that he didn't call himself a teacher, 
And when people argue that he's not God, he never called himself God directly. Yes, he did. Now, yes, he did. In Re- now, Revelation 1.8, he said he called himself the Almighty. Then he also it calls himself the Word of God. So he, he And he called himself, I am the Father of one. So he actually did call himself that. And then First John 5.20 Tells them the, the the true God. This is said Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. So he yeah. actually he well, never called himself. He never said I am God. He said I am that I am or I am. That's my, yeah, yeah. That's, that's my point. And and that's you true. can't argue that to me because I believe that he's God. I know the yeah. that they yeah. quote okay. to him. But being that's why I said I'm not going to argue it too hard. I hear what you're saying, so I'm mean, that's kind of like I I I'll let it go because I got to maybe yeah, study he, that more. He, yeah. He but. Was, he was a Hebrew, right? He was a Hebrew, correct? Yeah, of course. Correct? Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and I wouldn't was, say Hebrew. No, he wasn't Hebrew. Hebrew comes out down from lineage. He was actually Jewish in his religion because he practiced the Jewish uh, practices. So he was a Jewish religion. It's not a Hebrew is a nationality. So he was of the line of David, but he was uh, he he was from heaven. He's of he was born of, of of God, not born of man. So he wasn't technically a Hebrew. He was of the seed of Abraham, but he wasn't. He was a Hebrew. from the root of Jesse. Correct? He's from the root of Jesse. Right? That's what it says in the scripture. Yeah, but right? he, you're he, talking about Psalms. You just quoted Psalms. So 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 he was from the tribe of Judah, correct? Yes, line of the tribe, tribe of Judah. Judah. Line of the tribe so of Judah. That means he's yeah. a Hebrew. That means no, he's no, a no. Hebrew. That has that has something to do that that's very, very important when you're talking about Romans nine through eleven. When you're talking about the je- time of Jacob's trouble. So when yeah. you're saying he's not a Hebrew, I'm I'm kind of confused. Like he was Hebrew. Well, because the reason why I'm just careful to say, to say those things because the Bible never calls him a Hebrew. He he identifies himself as a Jew. Um, I think it was John four or something like what that. I'll have Jew? to pull it up. Yeah, it's a Jew. a Jew. Because when they say the Jew, the Jew, they were talking about some of their religious establishment. At the exactly, time. Jew. Yeah, it's religion. Yeah, yeah, it's but religion. He, but, he, but he's not of the seed of Abraham. Of I mean, he's not of the flesh of Adam. So Hebrew is actually uh, Abraham was the first he's Hebrew. Not? No, he's, he's not, not of the. He's the second Adam. He's known as the second Adam. His flesh is perfect flesh. It's not cursed flesh. Adam's flesh was, was cursed. So he. That's why he was born of a virgin. The virgin. He's not of her flesh or blood. So his blood has eternal life in it. Ours doesn't. That's why his blood can save us. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Kev. Well, look, man, I got to grab this. Man, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, we got some more deeper yeah, talk, yeah, man. Bro. Let me grab yeah, this bro, call, man. We'll because, talk later. Because, you know, yeah, because you, oh, Lord, he was 100% man and 100% yes, God. I agree. That's why he I has agree. two natures. I agree, but his man is not the man of Adam. He's the first Adam. But look, man, I mean, he's the second Adam. But we'll talk about it, man. Let me grab this call, yes, okay? All right, yes, man, sir. All right. Yeah.